I have a quick update on the Amazon influencer story I've uploaded uh, maybe a month or two ago. I think it was about a month ago, maybe two months. I can't really remember. So, but anyway, the, it, the video was about the fact that I've just discovered something called the Amazon influencer program and how I've for years tried earning uh, a single cent with that Amazon affiliate program around the world with all the various programs that they have and sadly I was very much unsuccessful with it up until today so that's good news and bad news in this update so the good news is I've been approved for the Amazon influencer program in the US yes. so I've got a little blue tick mark next to my name now which is the only discerning difference I can I can find so far and uh, the other good news check it out I've made one dollar ever since I've signed up I've made one single dollar so this is gonna be so cool I can't believe it it's not enough to take my wife out for dinner just yet and unlike other people who are raking in like I don't know several billion dollars per minute I'm not quite there yet but you know one dollar is certainly better than no dollars over the last whatever 15 years or however long I've been trying that so you know great news there great news on that front so inspired by that and excited by that I thought the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can get approved Wait. again for the Amazon influencer program in the UK because of course they are separate programs and logic would dictate that perhaps it's enough to be an influencer on one site but then Amazon are so complicated that they keep all their affiliate links in different places so I thought perhaps it's gonna be beneficial if I head over to the UK site and get a approved as an Amazon influencer there assuming the program or the process is exactly the same it's just a different domain ending so instead of .com it's .co.uk at the end so I click that link again you get a choice of what you want to be verified for which which program which social network has the most followers for you so in my case that's YouTube on my other channel and uh, I click on that link and they go nah sorry you declined you're just not successful enough and I thought oh that's interesting because the same amount of subscribers on the Amazon US side which is way larger than the Amazon UK site got me approved instantly so what's going on I tried that again two or three times with the various ways of logging in the system wouldn't have it uh, I tried again with my Twitter followers which are over 300 about 350 something like that and that of course was not enough either so I thought hmm interesting four and a half to 4100 YouTube subscribers was not enough to get me approved and of course 300 something Twitter followers weren't enough 472 Facebook likes not enough either so I thought ah, what the hell I'm just gonna drop them a line and say hey I'm already a verified influencer on Amazon America so does that help me in any way I mean obviously you guys have done it once now that I'm gonna try to do it again it's not gonna work or pray tell is it enough to be an influencer once worldwide rather than be several influencers I mean you know ridiculous so I dropped them a message dropped them a line and got a really nice reply from somebody probably in the middle of the night from India who says yeah well you know this is um, kind of uh, I think you're um, uh, maybe you need to get verified as an influencer in America uh, okay obviously zero clue what he was talking about because as of 2018 I think everyone who signs up for the influencer program is automatically verified so hence blue tick mark next to my name so obviously contacting them doesn't really do anything so I thought well I'll, I'll abandon the venture I'm a regular affiliate in the UK and in Germany and perhaps you know we'll just leave it like that I just rejoice at the fact that I have this vanity URL for whatever it might be good for so the way Amazon explain it is they've given me something like amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash my vanity URL so in my case that's the WP guru but of course you know it's something supposed to be something short and snappy and memorable that would I had assumed 
get you to something like your Amazon profile so that people get to see much like on your own Twitter landing page or on your own YouTube page or on your own Facebook page that people get to see what you've been up to at Amazon so the reviews you've posted the pictures you've posted the whatever else the things you've liked or whatnot I had assumed that would just direct me right there because everyone has that kind of profile page on Amazon it's just an extremely convoluted rancid really rubbish unmemorable terrible URL so uh, I thought that would be something but it's not the case they give you something of uh, kind of a storefront so it looks like the lists you create and the products that you like and Amazon's idea of driving people to that page which doesn't look very good is that you're supposed to tell everyone about that and send just random traffic there and that's that's the idea just send random traffic there and let's get people to Amazon if it's to your advantage or not it's kind of on a second piece of paper it, it feels to me like so from that page there's something that doesn't really look like a link but if you click on my name you then go to my profile on which the more interesting stuff at least to me is kind of happening so there you go that's how Amazon sees it and the idea of this vanity URL is you're supposed to promote it not only anywhere you can plaster a link you know you just you just created content now make sure you drive people away from that as soon as possible preferably to Amazon so that's the idea but um, the the shortness of the URL apparently is also meant to be useful so that you can promote it easily on things that don't allow pasted URLs that people can click on so for example in Instagram posts you can't really post links in an Instagram post you have to direct people to your bio link and then click from there and basically that's a one way of why people how people do it via Instagram but another way is of course podcasts so if you tell people something you can't just tell them, oh it's it's really easy just go to amazon.com forward slash gp forward slash capital x uh, three five lower case z p j u k uh, obviously not so you got to have something more memorable and if you're too cheap to chill out on your own domain then I guess you know Amazon is trying to help you there not doing such a good job there so anyway that's that's that I did discover one other thing while I was poking around there and that was thank you so much UPS van and that was something called one link and that is more exciting than sliced bread ever could be so one link wants to amalgamate all these scattered affiliate schemes all around the world for all the local Amazon sites and tries to bring them all into one place so the way it works and this is just you know Amazon's idea of it's easy to do this you have to still sign up for every single local Amazon site so US UK Germany France Italy Japan Spain Think that's the seven I can currently think of I'm, I'm sure there's going to be more in the future and each of these have ridiculously their own individual affiliate program so the links are very different if you want to link to the latest GoPro camera or Canon camera or any kind of equipment that is available worldwide it'll be on a different listing on each of these Amazon sites and if I give out one link uh, from Amazon uh, from Amazon America and I give that to my friend in the UK or in Germany then they'll end up at amazon.com from which they can't buy this so they would have to be redirected to their local Amazon site and that's currently not possible unless you give out seven different links and just hope for the best that your visitors click on the appropriate link good luck with that it's not gonna happen is it so Amazon have been really really wise and thought hey we can offer you something called one link and that's going to be exciting because you can first of all sign up with all these individual affiliate schemes and then you go ahead and then you link them all up against one of those accounts so yeah, pick America for example as your main account and then link all these affiliates schemes up to your American account and then place one tiny piece of code in your footer of your website before the closing meta tag I believe the, before the closing body tag or whatnot and add that piece there and then all you need to do is paste one link 
on wherever you want to put that, like on your website, it doesn't work with things like YouTube and stuff because they, of course, they don't have that piece of code that's necessary before the closing body tag. Anyway, on your own website, it's going to work. So paste that one single link in there and if a guy from Germany clicks it, he will be automatically directed to his own local Amazon site and you still get an affiliate commission. Super awesome. So I thought, oh, this is fantastic. I'm gonna to totally try that with the two affiliate schemes that I have, or the three ones, I think I'm on, on UK, US and Germany. And I thought, that's fantastic. I'm totally gonna to try that out. And they even give you a thing called the link checker. So very exciting stuff. So you, you, you find a product, doesn't work with short links, it only works with full amazon.com forward slash 40,000 character type URLs. So you paste that in and then you click a button and then it tells you which equivalent link on your affiliate sites, on your other regional sites that would be. So you paste that and you click a button, doesn't work. Ah, oh, maybe I've made something, maybe I made a mistake there. Maybe I'll do it again, doesn't work. Because apparently this link checker thing needs something, check it out, called a tag. A tag is of course the one thing that's totally undocumented on the Amazon website. So there's zero idea what that means, where to get one. If I could just make one up, I mean, I've tried it. I've just put what the hell is a tag as a tag. Didn't work either. So, but you know, one of those things, absolutely crazy so i thought i'm gonna as a test i'm gonna send a test link out for to the u.s site to a product that is available all around the world and send that to my friend in germany send that to my friend in the uk and said click on that and tell me which amazon site you're going to be directed to guess what the answer was amazon.com one link doesn't quite work does it so a little bit it's, it's so beta that it's not even ready for for the beta testers i guess you know if it's not if it's fundamentally not working please don't offer it one of those things but anyway it's just you know i've made a dollar i'm eager to make a second one and see how long that takes it's very interesting because it appears that 99 percent of my traffic that's going through my affiliate account is invalid amazon deems it invalid it's, don't know what there's what's going on there other people are making like forty thousand dollars a day i'm making one dollar in in one month or two months by that calculation i guess to make a hundred dollars so that i can take my wife out to dinner about 2024 one of those things don't think it's going to happen anyway to finish this exciting story from the hinterland of the internet off this morning check it out i've received an email from Amazon regarding my influencer account and it said something along the lines of hey you haven't used your URL your influencer URL in a while please make sure to do that otherwise we're gonna close it down again can you believe that this is so crazy so so you you spend all that time and effort directing your valuable traffic away you know you put you put so much time and effort into plastering these links all over the place to a place that doesn't even look good you know my vanity url storefront influencer god knows whatever they're going to call it really looks terrible it's not something that i'd, I'd want my enemies to check out let alone my friends and they're saying no no please send traffic there because if you don't then we're going to close it down so imagine you spend all that time and effort into plastering these links all over the place only to find that within the next 30 days they're going to stop working anyway oh my god and they've got all these stale urls anywhere to a place that didn't look good in the first place but now of course looks absolutely terrible because it doesn't work anymore oh my god amazon get a grip why don't you bezos jesus oh yes yes sir uh, do i recommend signing up with the amazon influencer program no 